I'm literally having a mental breakdown right now. I actually can't be bothered. This is awful. I need to go. I'm so scared. This took a turn. Hi everyone, welcome to another Rare Main Channel video. And my bed's not made, but that's kind of the usual. Um, I wear acrylic nails a lot. I have none on at the minute, so I'm gonna go and get some done. However, it's gonna be taken to the extreme and I'm gonna get them extremely long and just see how my life goes, really. It'll be interesting, maybe. I can't wait to not be able to complete simple tasks and also can't wait to get stared at in public by people when I've got these really long nails on. I am actually quite interested to see how limiting it'll be when I get my acrylic nails done and they're that long. Like, will I even be able to drive back? <gasps> if I can't drive, I'm gonna literally have to get an Uber back and leave my car there. Surely not, because I'm gonna drive to the nail place. However, my appointment is in 25 minutes, so let's get going. I mean, we're like 10 minutes late, but it's fine. I wonder how long they can actually do them as well. I hope it's pretty long. Will I be able to drive afterwards as well or will I literally have to get an Uber back? So many questions. The only way to find the answers is to actually go and get it done though, which I'm gonna go and do now because I am actually late. So, turns out I was way too awkward to vlog in the nail salon, so I'm having to do a voiceover. But, I mean, I vlogged, I just didn't speak because I was too awkward. But yeah, this is me getting the nails done. They use plastic tips and I got them the maximum length that they could go. If I could get them longer, I would have done. Actually saying that, I don't think I would. I don't think I could have handled them being any longer than they were. It was ridiculous. But yeah, this is the process. I sat there for two hours, bored out of my mind, getting nails done that I didn't even want. <laughs> I've just come out of the nail salon and I got my nails so long. What the heck? I've literally got claws. And as soon as I left that store, that nail shop, I literally could feel them all waiting until I left before they said anything. And they were all just staring at how long my nails were. And I know that as soon as I left, they were just talking about it. It's fine though. It's understandable. I don't really care that much. But yeah, slightly awkward. I just felt very watched. Oh, I literally can't even move my hair properly because my fingertips don't touch my head like the nails do. Anyway, on to the real test. Can I drive? Grabbing the steering wheel feels weird and not right, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm fine to drive. As I said, my car's an automatic, so I don't have to worry about a gearbox or anything like that. But yeah, let's make our way home. These are actually atrocious. What the hell? They literally hook. These are actual claws. I hate them. I hate them. See you at home. Let's go and see what Ben thinks of these. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> they're nice, right? Like It's not even like you can use the side bit of your phone because they're that I can't. Hard. Yeah, I can't even use a side bit. Like, I literally have to use, like, the under knuckle oh my god, to is... press everything. Okay, so now I'm about to drive to Kami's house. But before I leave, because I've been let down on my side, you can kind of see the scars on my face from that. I'm going to redo this eyebrow just because it's not as defined as this one. And then I realised that I'm wearing nails this long and it's probably not going to be as easy as that. So I'm just going to set up the camera and we'll see if I can even do my makeup. First step, getting a makeup wipe. That should actually be quite easy because I can just pinch it like that. <laughs> you know, actually, one good thing about these nails is that if I, like, put the wipe over the nail, I can be really precise as to what I want to, like, rub off. One thing that I keep doing is, like, catching my nails on things, but when I catch my nails, it really hurts. Like, I did it on the car handle before. It really, really hurts because it, like, rips your actual nail, like, away from the nail bed a little bit. The nail on this finger catches a bit though, like it's not fully at rest. Actually, that's kind of annoying. I can't get it to face the right way. You know what, it is actually quite difficult because my acrylic nails are also blocking my vision. Okay, that's it finished. It's still not as sharp as the other brow, but we're working with these nails now, so that ain't happening. I literally found that hard enough and all I did was the edge of one brow. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have to start from scratch when I do my makeup, and with these nails, it's gonna look questionable. Also, this whole struggling to use my phone thing is actually getting out of hand and really, really frustrating me now. I'm just going to show you what it looks like when I try and use my phone. And when I click on any app, I literally have to use, like, the ball of my thumb or whatever you call it. And it's not accurate at all, so it takes me, like, three taps to actually click it. Oh my god, and then when it comes to actually typing a message, that's where it's even more frustrating. Look how small these buttons are. Oh, <laughs> oh you know what? I didn't even mean to send it, but apparently that's going to have to do. What's your address, ha? Huh? So yeah, the phone's a bit of an awkward one for the next 24 hours. Probably won't be using that much. Oh my god, it's not even as if I can use my MacBook though, because I can't type. I'm a tester. Password was a success. Now what if I want to... Oh! <laughs> the keyboard isn't even the issue. What the issue is, is the bloody touchpad. My nails literally hook so much that I can't touch the touchpad because the nail touches it before I do. Well, that's also out of the question. So I can't use my phone, I can't use my MacBook, I can't use my Mac either, because that's also got a touchpad mouse. 
might read a book i'm just glad that i can actually drive because if i couldn't drive that would be so annoying that'd be so frustrating well that's the end of that clip because my camera's just unfocused and i can't use my fingers to focus it again because <laughs> they hook it hurts when i take them out unless i can like hook my finger through this loop oh yeah and pull it right okay yeah yeah that's easier okay that's how i need to take shoes on and off i literally need to use this thing <laughs> Hi! You look like your granddad like waving the kids off <laughs> when they leave. <laughs> disgusting. Really? Disgusting. <laughs> that is actually disgusting. I literally can't type on my phone. Ew. <laughs> that bad? Yeah. Kami also needs a haircut and he's trusting me to shave his head, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Does he not realise I have these nail buttons? I can't do this. So what's up guys? We're about to shave the hair. This way, right? <laughs> Wait. And now we're going to shave Kami's head with these nails. We'll see what happens. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm going to hide that. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Sorry, I Show can't control nails. these nails. Oh, yeah, show on your nails real quick. Wow, Zayn Malik who? Joke. <laughs> we should have smoked weed before doing this. Really? <laughs> no, you're going to mess it up. <laughs> I yeah, think that's what you wanted. How's it look guys? Let me know in the comments. Okay now, I'm in the car, I'm about to leave and drive home. Also, just so I make a point and say it's extremely frustrating to turn down the volume and also change the track because I keep having to press it with my finger but I keep pressing all the buttons instead. Oops, I look like a sloth. I'm gonna sleep like this tonight and be so careful with my hands. Oh, I'm so scared of scratching myself or poking myself in the eye. That would not be ideal. Okay, oh, is that done? Am I done? Time to do my teeth now. This is quite easy. Hi, um, so the time right now is 7.54 in the morning. The reason I'm up this early is because there's genuinely something wrong with my throat. Like, I can't breathe properly. Um, so I'm gonna go to the drop-in medical center and just see what's up. I literally can't even talk properly because of how swollen it is. I'm about to pass out, I'm not even joking, I'm so dizzy. <sighs> I'm so hot, I'm in cold sweats. This took a turn. It's so bad to swallow. I actually can't be bothered. This is awful, I need to go. Here we are. This is, oh my God. I'm literally crying out of frustration right now because that wasn't even a drop in like medical center. It was for kids and they didn't help me at all. This is literally up there with one of the most painful things I've experienced. I hate this. I hate this so much. Time to try Tesco Pharmacy. I literally sound so weird. Okay, this is what we're working with right now. I can't even open it because of my nails, but... I think I have tonsillitis, but this just numbs it, but I don't even have a GP in London, so it's so annoying. I don't even know what to do. I'm not mature enough for this kind of stuff. <laughs> Impossible to get out. My little scoop shovel. I don't like feeling like this. So, about three hours after filming that clip, my throat started swelling up again and I went to A&E. Here's me attempting to fill out one of the forms with my long ass nails on. Wasn't happening. These nails weren't helping at all. I ended up being made a priority by the hospital, which was really worrying because I thought I only had tonsillitis and then I had a cannula put in my vein, as you can see, and was being pumped up with loads of random stuff and they weren't really telling me what was happening or what was wrong with me. They said I had tonsillitis, but then they said I also had something else which I might need surgery to remove and they were pretty definite that I need surgery to remove this other thing like in my throat and bruh, I got so worried. I was so scared. Like I was by myself. My mum and family live out was away i just i was having an emotional breakdown and here you can watch it enjoy i'm actually having a mental breakdown right now i'm so scared i've got these nails on so i can't even be taken seriously <laughs> it was triggering the nurses that my nails were so long because they were so long that the normal finger thing that they put on I don't actually know what it's called but the thing that they usually use has a cap on it but they had to get me a special one that didn't have a cap because my nails were so long oh my god I look so gross right now like I don't even want to be on camera however I'm out oh my god I didn't have to have surgery in the end I'm so so happy about that like I can't even explain but yeah I got my prescription of some penicillin ready to go back home now 
Oh my god, I'm so happy I didn't have to stay overnight. I was there for so long though. This, today has been an awful day and it's been so awful because I still haven't got these things off my fingers because I was so ill that that was like the last thing on my mind. Awful. Hi, I'm in bed now and I was really deeping the fact that I still have these nails on. Like when the nurses and doctors took my pulse and they have to put that thing around my finger, they'd always make a comment on my nails and be like, wow, they're, um, they're, they're nice, I like them. And like, and like every single one of them were like, I like them, but I could just tell that they didn't. They just felt too awkward and didn't know what else to say. But yeah, today's been a uh, frustrating day. Literally did not enjoy it whatsoever. Oh my God, that hospital experience was awful. But good night, guys. I will see you in the morning. By the way, this is what just happened. When I dropped something flat, I'm not putting this on. This is me actually trying. There we go. There we go. Got it. We good. We good. Okay, I'm in the shower now. I have conditioner in my hair, but you can't tell because I can't actually rub it in because I can't use my fingertips properly. I literally have to use the palm of my hand to massage it into my head like this because my nails just ain't gonna do it at all. What do I look like right now? I don't know if I could turn it. Hello, that was literally the worst shower I've had in my life. I left so much shampoo and conditioner in my hair because I literally couldn't get it out. Whoops, well that happened. I'm about to leave the house, I'm gonna do my makeup, I'm gonna go and get a Diet Coke from McDonald's and also, should I drink that? I'm gonna drink it still anyway. Um, and also some nail clippers from Tesco so I can get these things off my fingers. I've had these on for like 48 hours now and it feels like I've had them on for a month. So yeah, I haven't worn makeup in two days, so this is the first time I'm gonna try doing my makeup properly with these things on. Using a beauty blend is possible. I'm just getting a load of foundation on my nails. Definitely need to contour my jawline, seeing as it's swollen up. Actually, not too bad. Oh, I put myself in the eye, but I can't rub it. Oh, and again. Um, well, that took me slightly longer than usual, but it was still possible, which is good. Okay, this is what I did with the makeup. It's a pretty simple makeup look, but it didn't go too bad. Like, my eyebrows look like eyebrows, so that's okay. <laughs> This is gonna feel so good when I get these nails off, I swear. I, I actually can't be bothered for it to not work. This just better work. Oh my god, it works. They just cut. They literally cut. It's like hanging off here. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, a normal hand. Literally a normal hand, thank god. These are my original nails, how long they are, and these are them after I cut them, just normal length nails. These look so much better, in my opinion, anyway. I can actually close my hand and properly grip things where I, it's literally impossible to do it with these. It's a few days later, I'm reflecting on this video and I have no idea what it actually is because me having tonsillitis and going to hospital really messed with the flow of this video. I don't know if it made it more interesting or less interesting than it would have been. It meant that I had to have the nails on for longer than I anticipated, which was slightly annoying. But as you can see, they are now trimmed down to a normal length. My tonsillitis is kind of going away now. It's a little bit annoying. It hurts a lot in the mornings when I wake up, but it's fine. I'm on antibiotics. It'll go away soon. Thank you very much for watching this video, especially for watching it up until the end. You're an actual legend. Thank you. And I will catch you in my future main channel videos. Bye, guys.